Kaji, congratulations on the win. Uh, back and forth battle, really entertaining fight. How are you feeling coming out of that one? Hello, guys. Thank you so much. I feel good. And first of all, I want to thank my opponent, Chai, for this tough fight. I knew he's a young kid with a really good energy. We spoke to him yesterday. And I'm like, you're such a nice guy. And honestly, I want to finish you, but with the less damage. That's why I was trying to triangle him. Because you know, it's never personal for me unless somebody uh, talks shit. But he was a nice guy and I think he has a, a great future. But for me, it was really important to get that win because I fought for something bigger. Uh, for my family and actually my younger brother today he's turning 19 and this victory I'm dedicated for him I haven't seen him for 13 years so I'm just gonna say in Russian Muharbek, с днем рождения, брат Эту победу посвящаю тебе Yeah And a couple of quick I wanna thank my manager Brian Butler for giving me the opportunity to fight in Bellator and thank you, Bellator, for having me here. To my striking coach, Danny, my BJJ coach, Scott, my cousin, Oleg, to whole soccer, uh, Skywalker team, and of course to AKA. Unfortunately, I couldn't do a camp over there with them uh, this time, but I'm still thankful. Yeah, absolutely. And he, he had you uh, hurt there early in the, the fight. Uh, how close was that to, to being over? Did you, did you feel like he had you on the ropes at all? Or? <sighs> to be honest, after first head kick, I think he question mark kicked me. And because my last fight was in September <coughs> of 2020. And I'm like, you know, you, you can be tough in there. Gym, but fight is a fight is a different vibe. But I was trying to take all the bullshit from my head. And after he kicked me, I'm like, I, I think it's time to give up. And then I'm staying. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna keep going. And then another punch, one, two. I'm like, fuck, it's her. I'm sorry for my language. I'm like, it hurt. I wanna give up now. And then they scream at me like, three minutes, two minutes. I'm like, okay, at least one round. Second round, he hurt me again. I'm like, man, come on. He's so tough, because you know, honestly, I think he was a little bit bigger than me. And it's not his fault, it's my fault, because I waited yesterday 185, and today I'm 186. So honestly, I didn't get any weight. So he was bigger than me and tough, but I knew he's gonna gas up. I start gassing up after like second and third round. But I'm still surprised with the decision. I think it was a draw or maybe like, you know, split decision. But I didn't see the fight, I have to see it. But in my head, he kicked and punched me so many times. But I mean, heads up to him. He didn't like give up too. I just like, I dropped him a couple of times. Then I was trying to finish. Usually, ask my BJJ coach, nobody gets away from my triangle. He got away three times. It means something. I'm not, I'm not a high-level uh, BJJ guy, but if I get someone in triangle, it's usually done. But he's tough, you know? And I know it was a tough for, fight for him too, because as my cousin told me, he had a fight schedule for May, then for June, then July, and finally we got to fight. So honestly, I think he did a long camp and to, to give the, the fight like this, uh, unfortunately, Bellator doesn't have any bonuses, but we deserve some extra cash for the fight of the night. I, believe, I didn't see the rest of the card, but I'm like, this is how you open the main card on a showtime. Prevet. Hello, sir. Incredible fight. Uh, that said, this is your first fight in Bellator, a big step up in competition. <laughs> crowd was jumping all night, big crowd. Uh, did you feel any extra nerves, you know, fighting this night? Uh, I think this is my 15th professional fight. And yesterday I was nervous 
that I'm not nervous. And my cousin was telling me, at least in the cage, it gets, gets serious. Don't be so nice. And I still wanted to be nice to this guy. And I was waiting when he's gonna hurt me. It's kind of stupid, but I thought like, he's gonna hurt me and I'm gonna answer with that. I don't wanna be the guy who, who's bullied at first, you know? He punched me hard with a question mark kick. I kind of lost for a half a second. I'm like, okay, let's go. And then I'm going something. My coach is screaming at me, do this, do that. I almost say like, hey, shut up. I, I, cannot, I cannot do any combinations because you know, <coughs> I haven't fought for a long time. Uh, at the gym, yeah, it's different. You can go, if you wanna stop, you stop. But in the cage, if you're gonna stop, look at the guy. He thrown so many elbows, question mark kicks, everything. He's, he's a tough kid. He just needs some little bit of experience. And I was not expecting to, him to take me down, but I wanted to be taken down to try to finish with triangle. Because when, when I got him to triangle, I didn't want to punch him or elbow him. I wanted to finish. I could, they were screaming, punch him, punch him. But I mean, I saw something in his eyes, he's a nice guy. It's not professional for me, but I wanted to finish and to show my like, you know, my BJJ level, maybe like deserve some like blue, blue belt, but I couldn't finish, so. Well, congratulations on the win. Uh, last question for me. You know, big win in Bellator. <coughs> Like you said, definitely Friday night, it was an absolute war. What do you want to see, you know, face next? What do you want next? Uh, I don't know. If Bellator need me here, I'm going to be here. Or they have a next show in Moscow. If they need someone in my way, I'm more than welcome. Like I told you, I wasn't home for 13 years. And I would love to fight in front of the my people. I can represent Russia, USA, I'm citizen of both countries, so I'm proudly uh, representing anyone. <coughs> I'm sorry. sorry. But yeah, if Bellator need me, I'm gonna try to put a show like this. Win or loss, it doesn't matter for me, honestly. Right now I fought for something bigger than just like purse, you know? I just fought, I was trying to put my skills against his skills. These guys were working with me, for the last 10 months, oh, 10 weeks, sorry. And I wanted to make them proud. I wanted to make my manager be proud because the last fight he put me in a big show, I lost it. <coughs> and of course, I wanted to make my AKA team also proud of me and my hometown, Small Republic, North Ossetia. Any other questions, guys? Hi, Jack Kennedy from MMA Island. Congrats on the win. Um, Thank you. You mentioned earlier uh, you weighed in around 185, 186 <coughs> coming into the fight. What would you do differently for your next fight camp to be physically ready for the fight? Uh, it's not about physically. Uh, I'm still learning how to do a proper weight cut. Uh, from all my 15 professional fights, I never fought in a weight class I belong. I always fight like light heavyweight, heavyweight, but I never weighed more than like 200 pounds. <coughs> so, excuse me. And I still need to put up some muscle on me and start learning how to properly weight cut because on a higher level, like top 15, top 10 guys, it's gonna be a big dif difference. And I'm not a guy like uh, all these world champions to put my skills against them. But, and I got tired because <laughs> Usually day of the fight, I'm still learning to eat, but in the morning I just had small yogurt and that's it. And they all tell me, you have to eat. I'm like, I still have some nerves in me, I cannot eat. And I was trying to go there and put the show and I thought he's taking me away. And I'm like, oh, I think I'm still in the fight. And I was trying to fight and fight and fight and fight. And I'm still surprised and a little bit happy that I won. <coughs> And thank you to my opponent. It really helped help me to go through the war. This is my first fight, win by decision, three rounds. My longest fight was like maybe se uh, to the second round. And this is what I needed to be a contender one day. I know it's every fighter who wins some battle like this, like, oh, I'm coming for the belt. Uh, it's early to talk, talk about this. 
I think I need like three, four, five wins like this. Yeah, <coughs> but I'm, I'm so happy and I'm so happy uh, I shared the cage with a tough guy like this and he put me through the show. Um, last question. At the end of the fight, speaking of Ty, what did you guys say to each other um, after the after <laughs> war that you guys put on? When he was laying on top of me, I was trying to grab his hands and I'm saying, I was keep telling me like, nice job, nice job, man. Thank you, thank you for doing this, you know? And he was trying to say calm. I think he's like, what, he's seven years younger than me. <coughs> he doesn't have that experience. And I was still talking to him. And yesterday I told him, if you're gonna kick me hard, I'm gonna take you down and hold you there for 15 minutes. But you see, he took me down. But I, I was just like, uh, luckier tonight to to win the fight and ask my coach I always work from the back I never work from the top I work from the back and I told him I can win the fights from the back maybe you not in the dominant position but my back is safe and I can like go for these triangles and arm bars all night <laughs>